Hello everybody and welcome back to the modded character showcase series. Today we're going to be checking out uh, Boom. This is a pretty old character now that I think it was Slay recently covered um, on his channel and I thought it looked like a really fun character. He seems obscenely broken in like just how overpowered he is. He has received some nerfs since Slay's video on him but I thought it'd be a really fun character to do a showcase on so why not. This character has a, quite a few interesting things. He has immunity to bomb damage, starts with Nancy Bomb. He has uh, the fuse cutter effect, um, and uh, he does when he uh, like walks into enemies, he explodes. There's there's quite a lot of cool things with this character. Also, when he kills an enemy, uh, it's actually a safe fuse cutter here. When he kills an enemy, um, there is a um, small chance. I think it's a twenty percent chance that they drop a bomb. Um, and then that can be increased with luck. And then on top of that, those bombs can be. Um, can be giga bombs sometimes, or um, they can also be brimstone bombs. So as you can imagine, very, very, very strong character. Probably needs some tweaking and balancing as we go ahead, but no better item, no more fitting item we could possibly get than Mr. Boom himself. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So <laughs> already it's getting crazy. So because of Nancy Bombs, we're getting Nancy Bomb effects on our Mr. Boom. I didn't even consider that. But this is a very interesting thing to get here. But yeah, so I, I definitely, like, think <laughs> this character's really overpowered. But he's also just genuinely really, really fun. So who cares? Um, I think if, if um, the creator would want to balance this character at all. I don't know if they do. I don't know if they, their intention is for the character to be this overpowered. But if there was ever an intention to um, tweak them and balance them a little bit, my idea would be just make the base chance for an enemy to drop a bomb on death to, like, 2%. <laughs> remove the Brimstone and Giga Bomb chance, or at least make the... Remove the Brimstone, maybe keep the Giga one, but keep it a lot lower. Um, and then have it increase by 1% or 2% with luck. I think that would make it a lot better, um, just balance-wise. But at the same time, I could understand that would maybe remove the theming a little bit, but it would make him significantly weaker. But either way, I'm going to have an absolute blast with this character. I'm not taking no pills. In fact, there's, there's, a, du there's a duplicate here. If it's a duplicate, I'll take a duplicate. Oh, we also started with the matchstick, and I'll, I'll keep the other gulp. And why not go to the alt path? Why not? Uh, let's make our way. And yeah, this 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 is just going to be like a lot of fun. Of course, as you can tell, the the, the bombs that are spawned via uh, killing enemies aren't affected by our bomb upgrade, so Nancy bombs aren't affecting those. That would be insane. Uh, but like I said, we we do have a small chance to get some brimstone bombs here and there, which <laughs> seems a little crazy. I'm excited to see that happen every now and again. Um, but also, you got to remember, we're immune to bomb damage too. Uh, I'll take this here and see what we get. Hey, well and leech. That's pretty cool. I like that. Especially on this floor. Especially on this floor. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you already have this. I don't, by the, I, I'm, say, I'm saying this like the mod creator is watching. I don't actually know if they are. But something the mod creator could do that I think would be really cool is you should heavily suggest that people download the Better Bombs mod that adds a bunch of new bomb visuals. Um, because on on this, there's a Brimstone bomb. On this character, they're so prominently featured, you get to see all the, basically what, what, what it does is when you get different bomb synergies, um, like bomb items and you place a bomb and you can visually see the the bomb is, let's, let's just do, do this for example. Um, we can visually see that that actually that didn't have any any visual difference whatsoever. But you know what I mean. It essentially adds all of the missing ones. The base game has some chances um, to has some some ability to adopt effects. Oh hello, piercing. Pretty weird. Um, has some some of the uh, effects are adopted, but not all of them are. So it would be a, it'd be a good idea because I've got the better bombs mod on now to to advertise that as a very good combination with this uh this character i probably would say that, that might already be something he recommends just because i would if i was the creator but i don't know if he does so be a cool idea if not god damn gigabombs gotta love them gotta love them but already we're, we're, we're seeing that this guy is pretty strong i'm hoping we get flight to get cupid's arrow there would be kind of nice give me that bomb 
Thank you, thank you. I just love that we got Mr. Boom so early. Mr. Boom's great. And then you can use Mr. Boom to get more bombs. I just, I've got to be, I've got to be like, remember to not be scared of explosions. Oh, also, my contact damage didn't make me explode then. That might be some, that might be part of the nerf. Maybe he made it just a chance based thing now. Because that was particularly one of the things that was really, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, there's a sad bomb one look. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Get that ghosty out there. He didn't even do his tail perkies. I was expecting the tail perkies. Oh, not quite going to kill him. Oh, what the hell? Wait, when these leeches die, do they have a chance to drop a bomb? Because if they do, that's pretty cool. I want to see. These leeches need to die. I'm sorry. They definitely do. Okay. Uh, I'll check out the devil deal. Um... Gives a huge damage bonus after killing enemies rapidly. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. That's a fun one. Right. Down we go. Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. I, I love characters like this where, where they're just... It's just a cool idea taken to the extreme. <laughs> Don't... Oh, there's a Gigabomb. Don't gotta worry about no balance. Don't gotta worry about anything. This is just straight up a fun time. Fun times to be had by all. Sad I didn't get to get piercing on that last floor. I probably could have explored the floor a little more in, in the uh, chances of getting it, but... I'm, I'm still like, sort of, do I use my own bombs? Probably, I don't really need to. What would be really nice if we could get like 9 volt or something. That'd be really good. There you go. Oh, that's not the room done, okay. I think Pointy Rib's another thing that's helping us out a ton here. Another Gigabomb! Okay, so the chances for Gigabomb isn't exactly low, as we're seeing right now. There's the golden version of that. Oh my god. Yeah, chance for Gigabomb isn't exactly low. Oh my god, there's another Gigabomb. This has got to be our secret room, right? <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. Just... It's just the right level of stupid fun. Just the right level. That's another Gigabomb. What the hell? It almost pushed me into the white fire then. That would have been kind of hilarious. Hoping we found another trinket soon to use this gulp on as well. That was a big explosion. Oh, there's the chain reaction going. You've got to love the chain reaction. I don't think we've seen our item room yet. Let's go back and check that out. I very much want to see my item room. Don't know if it's through this big room. We'll go we'll go through the big room, why not? Yeah, here it is. To be fair, pointy rib produces a bomb. Aw. Oh, maybe think if we get a pointy rib bomb going there. To be fair, what we can do is just drop a bomb in there and the, the water will take it. Bit of a meme way of doing it. Right, grab you. Aha. You've been bombed as well, sir. Mini mush. Nah. Yum rib. Is. Gives. To be fair, gives one burn heart and an eight room charge is pretty heckin' good. But at the same time, I, I need my Mr. Boom. It's too fitting. There you go. We can go get an item out of this then. We can, we can use it and trade it for something else. It'll give me the enchanted penny. What, the, the the friendly penny or whatever it's called. It always does. Never gives me any of the really good items. Give me Adam's rib. Adam's rib is what I want. Shamrock grants prizes and defeating bosses without being hit. That's actually pretty good. Actually pretty good. Okay. I can accept that. Give me that back. And we'll move along to our boss. <laughs> yeah, characters like this are just... You play them, you know they're OP, you know they're busted, but they're just, they're not they are not a character you're going to play all the time because you're, you're clearly going to have a very, very easy win. Or like, not not always, I suppose, but it's going to be likely that you get a pretty easy win. But you just want to, because just the best. Oh, also, I remember now, Shamrock is going to give us a ton of luck upgrades and luck pennies. Sadly, that's not something we're really looking for there. Um, I'm going to go down to the normal path. 
I've not got a great HP right now. I've not got great HP, so I'll stick with this. But yeah, as, as our luck increases, we get, I think, a 3% bonus to our chance to spawn a bomb when we kill an enemy. That is going to drastically increase if we uh, manage to flawless bosses. Because you get quite a decent amount. Quite a decent amount of... Um... I wonder why the brimstone bombs aren't visually working. That's got to be an issue with the better bombs mod. Um, brimstone bombs... Because like, that's a brimstone bomb there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why they're not visually working correctly. So maybe my comment about better bombs is ill-founded, because for some reason some of them aren't really working correctly. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a lot of luck pennies. I remember last time I had the shamrock thing, I ended up getting a hell of a lot of luck upgrades out of it. And then this, uh, this skull thing is just so good. Being able to um, gain a massive damage bonus after killing enemy. Such a strong upgrade. Come back here, you. Part there. Wow. This is a room and a half, isn't it? I think we just plant a bomb here. Unfortunately, get much from that. It's 10 cent a play for this. I'll come back to that. But I'm definitely tempted by it. I'll sell you that much. How did that enemy die then? What the hell? Enemy like crashed into the door and died. Oh, god damn it. Need to stop getting hit. That's a big ass ghost. Holy hell. That is one big ass ghost. Oh, beautiful. You can tell when it's a brimstone bomb though, because the chart, the, the like time before it blows up is a lot longer. The fuse time, should I say? Ooh, this is kind of a hard one. Kind of a hard room here. Item room, what do you have for me? Jawburn at least lets us get stuff over gaps, which is kind of nice. Not the best, but it works. Oh god, I just realized what this room was. Took me a second. Shop, where are you? Not this way, clearly. Oh god damn, this is a brutal room. These enemies are so hard. I definitely like that my little leeches can, dr can drop bombs. It's a secret room that would have had a donation machine in it. Here's where I placed my donation machine. If I had one. Right, let's come through here. Oh, there's that, 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 that brimstone bomb works. Hmm. Intriguing. I'm not quite sure what's going on then. <laughs> Calm yourself. Okay, we can grab that as well. What do you have in store for us? Ooh. Hell yes do I want car battery. That's so good. Planting double bombs. That sounds amazing. That sounds so very good. Right, back over this way. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bomb that boss. <laughs> Insta killing it. And there you go. Did we get a luck penny? Oh, no luck penny this time. Did get some much needed HP though. Much needed HP. Still yet to get another trinket to gulp. Kind of on the prowl for that right now, but that's not really showing up. Right. But yeah, I, I love the fact that we've... Um, oh, give us Bob's Curse. We've got Skip, Two of Pentacles. Why not? Pentacle. Keep that. I'll leave that there for now. Yeah, car, car battery has always been one of my favourite items, but in this specific scenario, it's even better. Makes it so good. Why did we get a 0 0.05 damage upgrade then? What the hell was that about? Oh, I think it was the damage upgrade that we got for killing an enemy from the skull thing. The skull item's so broken. It's so good. And there's a bomb. <laughs> I don't know why I used it there, but... The great thing about it is, because it's dropping two, not only do we get twice the damage value, but on top of that, we're getting twice the amount of effects because of Nancy Bombs, which is really good. 
Also, is that a melting one? That's cool. Okay, so we got some good stuff here. I want to just pop this as close to me as I can. Um, What's going on with my slipped rib? What's happening? Um, Something in that room's broken. Hmm. I'm hoping that's not going to happen regularly because that was kind of awful. Something in those rooms was not going right. And then we can also take this to suck up an item. Red rune it. There's another one of these. These rocks are way too common. <laughs> Ooh, crimson chest that we can't open for some reason. I'm just going to try and move this out of the way. There you go. Why is it we can't open this? It looks to require a key. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I need to open that. It's clearly not keys. Oh, what the hell? He spawned at the worst place possible there, you fool. Yeah, not quite sure how I opened that bad boy. That was close. Almost got hit by the hand. Come on, you hearse hat fool. He even dropped a bomb there. Right, so do we want to red rune this? You're not dead? Oh, wait, I think I just blew up the skulls and created a new host. And that's what happened there. Tech Alpha is very, very good. We'll be stealing that up. Nothing really there we can gain. I'd rather take my gulp in this red rune, I'll be honest. Let's at least see if we want to red rune the boss item, should we? Big boom. God damn it, it keeps creating fucking hosts. But yeah, now we fire lasers from our tears as they travel through the air, which is, of course, pretty good. Sad bomb experience, look at that. Is that another gulp? No, it's not. <laughs> that would have been great. Oh my god. I thought my explosion immunity would save me there. It did not. That gave us a reflected key. We're getting some interesting stuff here. <laughs> I'm having an absolute blast with this character so far. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, to be fair, we've just got really good items as well. Oh, uh, also, Happy New Year, people. I haven't really said it in many of my new videos yet, but yeah, Happy New Year. I'm fully recovered from New Year's Day. I had just an obscene amount of alcohol and died. <laughs> uh, but I'm fully recovered from New Year's Eve, should I say. Um, and I'm feeling much better. My health is not great right now. I want that look, Penny, as well. I need flight. But yeah, how was everyone's new year? Are you excited for the next year? I am, but at the same time, like, I know it's not going to be too much better. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I don't have my hopes up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Red Rune, but Mr. Dolly is way too good to not take. Red Rune, you just get used. Oh, oh. My familiars are glitching out again. Is that, it must be something to do with the red room, right? That happened in the room that I found it in, and then happened in the room that I used it in. Right, back over this way. A long, long trek back. Still, still don't know how to open this. My leeches are giving me damage ups. I just realised. It's a strange interaction. One that I'm definitely all for, but a strange interaction nonetheless. Right. But yeah, this would be a powerful run if we weren't playing as Boom. But my god. Boom is, uh... Boom is enhancing this experience quite heavily. It's Boom and Mr. Boom. It sounds like a TV show, doesn't it? Boom and Mr. Boom. Curse of the Maze. Still no extra trinket yet. I, I just realised as well, we didn't flawless that last boss, so no extra loot for us. 
I keep desperately trying to get out of the way of my explosions, and I don't need to. The big poop ghost bomb. This is a cool room design. You can definitely tell some of, some of the rooms are modded, but that's not a bad thing. Oh my god. Oh, having a hard time keeping an eye on everything here. Hey, you gave him a half soul heart back though. That's good. And the fact as well that Tech Alpha, it auto aims the lasers, so like I can basically use it to shoot round corners. Yeah, definitely don't blow up the skulls until the room's done. So I have to deal with all these fellas. See, there's more of them. I can plant bombs everywhere here. I don't need the, the physical bombs themselves, so... If I can blow up a few skulls here and there, I will. Pinking shears. Very good. Sadly, not what we want. I wish I had the red rune for it. That would have been nice. My gulp is still potentially more useful, though. I'll probably end up finding another red rune on this floor anyways. They're that common. Hey. Lovely 10% chance. Hey! <laughs> Health is looking a lot better now. A lot, lot better. Ah! I got pushed by the bomb into some contact damage. Ooh, golden pill. Puberty. We bad tripped already. Look down. Okay, it's gone. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Health down. This is going pretty bad so far. Tears down. Addicted. Speed down. Oh, ho, ho, this is going bad. Cyanide. Cyanide. Health up. There you go. Look down again. No. The look downs are so bad. I've got to keep going, though. I'm too, I'm too committed now. Okay, it's gone. That was a pretty awful pill, I have to admit. We got very, very little actual positive benefits out of that. We lost tears. We lost health. Yeah, we, we just we just all round lost there, I think. The, the luck losses are the worst. Hey, I told you, we'd probably get one anyways. Okay, did we actually... We didn't actually get one of the things, though, sadly. Right. Some of this going on. Well, there's there's at least our, a trinket, but honestly, not really the trinket I'd want to gulp. Because later on, it won't have any use to us. Ayo! Knew I'd find it here. Right, what you got for us? Hell yes! Eye of Belial. You don't think about how many items are in the red pool. There are some really, really good items in there. We got some luck back though, that's good. And I think our pill's right here. Oh, we got a glitched out there, never saw that earlier. Really broken, super good. The yeah, Eyeball Eye isn't insane. It gives us the homing that we missed out on earlier, too, which is nice. It was a shame to have missed out on that. Oh, yeah, that almost that almost got you. And then, how many look upgrades? Two look upgrades. Hell yes. Um, I'll just take this for now. Boss Rush, we definitely want to go in, so let's be speedy here about checking this. Oh, god damn it. I'm sorry. Aren't Boss Rush. Oh, okay. Got some good stuff here. Alexa baby. Of course, the cloaked baby. On room clear heals a random wisp to full health. If all your wisps have full health, uh, and if fewer than four spawns a wisp, so it's just permanent four wisps. And then, of course, we have sinus infection. I think sinus infection is probably the best one here. As much as Alexa baby can be good. I imagine... Yeah, I was just about to say, I imagine the bugger tears that stick to enemies still fire lasers. <laughs> they definitely do. Uh, which means that they're really overpowered. Also, we get we get our Mr. Boom every wave. 
and it drops double. I'm just constantly just gonna drop it the moment the room starts. The, the moment the wave starts, should I say. Yeah, look at that, just constantly firing extra lasers. It's so strong. <laughs> there's fire everywhere, there's loot everywhere. There's a chariot card here now as well. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> this run is so busted. Like I said though, this run would be busted even if I wasn't playing as Mr. Boom. I'm calling him Mr. Boom now. You know what I mean. <laughs> the Mr. Boom is just insta-killing anything that spawns on it. And, uh, and obviously we've had a Gigabomb there as well, so they're spawning like a little bit off from where they normally would. Making it even better for us. There's another Gigabomb. <laughs> Another Gigabomb. The Gigabombs might be a bit obscene. I think the Gigabombs and Brimstone Bomb thing, as a gimmick, if you want to make the character somewhat balanced, just needs to go. It's cool, but it's so overpowered. Or at least put, like, the Gigabombs like, a 0.1% chance. Just, like, a rare thing to happen. Not something that happens re realistically three or four times a floor. Or in Boss Rush's case, three or four times a room. Uh, Tech Alpha's really overpowered as well. Oh, hell yes. With our setup right now, Bugger Tears and, um, what's it called? Uh, Aya Belial. Yes, please. Right. Away we go, though. Oh, wait, this is still open. Nice. We can actually play this a little bit. I was hoping we'd be able to do this. Well, that was quick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that Gigabomb managed to destroy any of the ground. Hey, there's another item. Good stuff. Uh, we'll take our gulp pill still. Gulp pill still. I don't want any of the items, though. Let's go down. Boom is fun. Boom is very fun. Very much like it. Let's go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. no way. The fucking. The tech alpha shots also are tiny planeted shots. That's so cool looking. I love it. This is such a meme of a run. Such a meme of a run. I love it. Yeah, I gotta say, personally. I'm absolutely fine whether the, the developer decides to nerf this character or not. It just depends, like, is this character just made for having a bit of fun once in a while? Or is it made for being a realistically, like, a character that you'd realistically put into your rotation of characters you play reasonably often? Because if that's the case, I'd definitely say he needs a nerf to make him not just an insta-win character. Um, but if you just if he's just here to be fun bomb synergy character, then that's completely fine. He is very, very fun. Look at this. Just this nonsense of beautiful crime. I love it. Oh, there's a red room we can't even get to. Just creating so many bombs. And we've got like a little bit of luck now as well, so we're creating them even more often. There's a heart container. I still think that they're, they're probably... Uh, in my opinion, the most egregious version of the Repentance Plus Heart that just is so obscenely overpowered it makes no sense. Like, I don't know why these exist at all. I, I I say this, I do I do quite like, I actually really like all of the Repentance Plus additions, chests, hearts, rocks, whatever. It's all just, as I've said before, like little balance tweaks and stuff, and the developers are working on it. It's nothing they don't know about. But those ones specifically... I don't think they need to be nerfed as such. I think they need to be reworked or removed because they just, they don't really have a place, at least in my opinion. Because um, they're just strictly better Eternal Hearts. It makes Eternal Hearts feel kind of pointless. 
Unless there's like a massive downside to them that I'm really not seeing, but I don't think there is. <laughs> look at that. Oh, there's the luck upgrades coming hot and heavy. Up to four luck. So that's 3% for every one luck. A plus 12% chance on top of the, I believe it's base 22% chance it is at base. You should be seeing a lot of bombs drop. A lot of bombs. Oh my god. Beautiful. <laughs> this is just a fantastic run all, all through and through. Anyways, like I said, I'm just enjoying this run for what it is no matter what. Like, look at these big ass lasers everywhere. And Mr. Boom genuinely making it so much more enjoyable to play this character. Already very enjoyable. Mr. Boom with their car battery is so fun as an addition. <laughs> Look at this. Push, hell yes. The tears orbit us and fire, then get stuck to the boss and fire. It's the best. Tech Alpha, too good. It's a hell of a lot of sex. Two one. It's a hell of a lot of sex. Dumpy, we'll we'll take you. Why not? Burger bombs. Uh, why not? And what do we have for last? Oh, Hemolacria. I don't know what this will do, but I think hell yes. It's not likely to be as powerful, but Hemolacry is always a must take for me. Oh yeah, it's doing it's doing big damage anyways. Regardless, it's doing big damage. Holy hell. Oh yeah, baby. Remember when Booger Tears just never fell off the enemy until they died? That was insane. They, 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 already, they, they last for 10 seconds now and I already think that's still too long. You can really feel the boss armor here though. Sadly, he doesn't spawn too many enemies, but he does spawn some. We'll hopefully get something out of that. There you go. Really? We got, like, two bombs out of that? There were so many flies there. I thought we'd get loads. There goes the tech lasers. Yeah, it's probably a little bit of a mistake taking Hemolacria, but I love Hemolacria too much to let it go. And we're still, we're still getting a good positive outcome. There you go. There's the amount of bombs I was looking for. There's an obscene amount everywhere covering the screen. Oh my god. How did I not get hit there? I'm very grateful, but I'm very confused. Okay, finally I got actually got hit. That was confusing. Right. <laughs> That was pretty good. Yeah. What What that? Door Mimic, why are you even there? That's so stupid. A speed upgrade, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit weird. Yeah, we'll, we'll go Void. We'll go straight to Void, I think. I think this run is one that could definitely benefit from going straight to the Void. We definitely need fire rate upgrades. That'd be like the best next thing for us. Yeah, one problem we're having is a lot of our shots from Hemolacria aren't splitting now because of Bugger Tears, which is a bit of a problem. Because it means we're not getting as many shots attached as we could do otherwise. There's a Giga. 
There's an eternal heart, though. I accidentally picked up via bomb. Oh god, this guy's got me latched. Pretty cool uh, room idea. I wonder if I'm going to get the reward for every boss that I fight down here. I'm, I'm fairly sure I tested that last time and I do. That's going to be pretty good. Oh god, that's a lot of gigabombs. That's a lot of gigabombs. Oh my lord. That is a lot of gigabombs. Ow. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Grab that. Stay out my way. Stay out my way. Hopefully we can amass a good, like, high amount of bombs as well to play around with in the boss fight. It seems to be getting a good amount already. If I can get up to, like, 30, that'd be pretty good. Oh, God. I did not see that brimstone beam. I need to be careful because I am taking a considerable amount of damage. Calm down, Gigabombs. I'm hoping I just don't accidentally enter the Delirium fight straight away. I'd like to do quite a few boss fights and get some luck upgrades and stuff. It's always weird when you do a Delir Delirium floor. Manage to go the one way that doesn't have any bosses. Soul Heart. Lots of bombs. Burger Bombs was a good pickup as well. Kind of forgot we had that for a second there. Forgot about that one. I'll just try this one. It could be Delirium. Fucking is. God damn it. Wait, what? Did he immediately kill himself? Look at his health. I think he immediately turned into the one boss that allows him to essentially kill himself. That's pretty funny. I'm going to go explore the rest of the floor after I kill this guy. Because I, I want to play as this character for longer. But yeah, he uh, he just absolutely gibbed himself, which is kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> Walked into the fight and he immediately was like, nope. I'm going to kill myself. Bye. That's pretty funny. Of course I entered the fucking Delirium boss fight straight away. At least I can explore the rest of the floor. At least I have the ability to. I should probably fight a few bosses and for one, see if it works, and for two, if it does get like as much luck as I can. I've just got to not get hit is all. Which on this boss, to be honest, is not that easy. This boss hits me all the time because I can't see the stomp positions. Yep, you see? It's just a big old horrible, horrible, horrible. I hate that boss so much. Didn't even get to test my theory on you, you bitch. Oh god. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. Holy fuck. Is everything dead? I don't know. Oh, for... I might actually die. I might need to go and uh, retire to the boss room. Get in the chest. Because I'm taking a lot of damage right now. A lot of entirely avoidable damage, too. I just want to test my theory on one boss. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> we got a gulp. Second gulp. Right, here we go. Boss fight. Try and flawless it. I know I can do it. There you go. It does indeed give us it. Nice. Wasn't very good there, though, but we got hot bombs out of it. It's pretty interesting. Potentially pretty crazy. 
This time we got the friend zone. There's a luck penny. Oh, there's a lucky two as well. Even more luck. Oof. Golden battery. No thank you. I can't deal with that pain right now. Right. We're doing okay here. What? What, what is... How did I not get hit there? <laughs> I don't understand. That was kind of spooky. Good, good, good. Boom, boom, boom. Gotcha. Oh my god, I love Blue Bomber with their hot bombs. Blue Bomber plus hot bombs is so fun because you just get that massive spread of fire everywhere. This character is so crazy. I think that was Sad Bombs that did that for us there. Ooh, a shot speed up is pretty interesting here. Up to eight luck. Another Soul Heart. Yeah, shot speed is actually pretty good for us here. Give me a few more boss fights. Just a few more. I never know how many there actually are on each, each void floor. Is it always the same amount? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> There's the look upgrade again. That's another gulp pill. God damn, anyone looking to unlock marbles? <laughs> this would be the seed. Marbles, it's like you use five gold pills in one run. I think we just found five. I don't think I've ever done that before. I I think, I can't remember the way I unlocked marbles actually, but I did it in some cheaty way. I'm pretty sure. Right, we'll make our way back now. <laughs> covering the room in permanent destruction of every colour, variety and taste. Now that we're up to 9, look, we're spawning bombs pretty much every kill. I like that. I think that's fun. Okay, it was this... Oh, actually... Oh! Minimap API. Coming in clutch with the void floor. Little checkered flag to tell us where the ending chest is. That's so good. Anyways, we'll end off the run there. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Boom character. Of course, an obscenely overpowered character, but likely by design and nonetheless incredibly fun. It's really fun to be able to play around with bomb synergies and you don't get to do it often, so it's a very, really fun character for that. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.